then they may authorize military action. And that's non-consensual military action. As I mentioned a moment ago, the distinction between peacekeeping and peace enforcement is under Chapter 6, you need the consent of the state where the operations are ongoing. Under Chapter 7, you obviously don't need consent because you're going to use military force against the state that's in violation of the law. But again, again, look in Article 42, and it tells us that the only purposes are maintaining or restoring international peace and security. Maintaining in a situation where you're dealing with a threat to the peace and you want to make sure something doesn't break out, 